heavy. And he moves towards the bar. Tom launches at Tully and then turns to the audience. Okay, I'm getting back behind the bar. I'm good at this, by the way. <laughs> I better get back behind the bar. I've got another customer just come in. Tully dumps his bag at the bar. Tully, what a day this has been. Tom, aye, you can say that again. Tully, what a day this has been. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let me take it and ask you to get rid of it. <laughs> you see, I'm saying it the way I, I'm seeing it, eh? Right. What can I get you, Mr. Mr. Tully? I'd like a room for a night and a tanker to ale. Wallace. Tully Wallace. Tom shouts to the customers, he's here, he's here, Wally Wallace is here. All the customers raise their tankers and cheer and Tully goes to Tom. Tully Wallace, my name's Tully Wallace. Tom, that's what I said, <laughs> Wally Wallace. <laughs> All the customers raise their tankers and cheer, right? Tully goes, who the fuck is Wally Wallace when he's at him? And Tom goes, that was some victory you had today. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, what are you babbling about? Ah, you certainly sent an English in to think again. <laughs> Tully, I sent nobody anywhere. And Tom goes, Aye, what a victory. And news travels fast these days. I bet within a month they'll be talking about it in Falkirk. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, because he's only doing the run. <laughs> Tilly, I'm fucking lost here. Tom hands for you. That's on the house. And Tilly says, just what's going on? Tom, they're just celebrating your victory over the English at Stirling Bridge. You're certainly a great warrior. He says, warrior? I'm being a decorator. Did you follow me Me going Tom and Tully? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, uh, <laughs> warrior? I'm a being a decorator. I wouldn't be surprised if you get decorated. <laughs> I don't want bloody decorated. I want a room for a night. <laughs> Shouts to the customers. Tully, Wally Stein for a night. And all raise their tankards and fucking cheer. Right. Tully. It's Tully. Tully Wallace. Aye, Nancy, get Wallace a bag. Get Wallace's bag to his room. Nancy arrives at the bar and makes sex sexual advances towards Tully. You can't, I can't always go here again, David. <laughs> so you're the famous Wally Wallace. <laughs> Tully, Tully Wallace. Your room's next door to mine. Would you like a visit later? <laughs> God, I must have been fucking needing something. Like and he says, Is it needing decorating? <laughs> <laughs> I can't write the right now. Is it needing decorating? I can't write the right now. Oh, he's got a fuck. <laughs> Is it oh. needing decorate? No. <laughs> I read this out one night to Jim McNam, they nearly pissed, in fact, he did piss himself out of the door. I'll mix one in this kid. Right. He says, is it needing decorate? She says, I'll show you my pussy. <laughs> <laughs>
And he says, I hate fucking cats. <laughs> Damn, this is Tom's mean. Leave the warrior alone, he'll be knackered. Just take his bag to his room. Nancy grudgingly picks up the bag, but finds it too heavy as it clatters to the floor. What the hell have you got in here, the fucking crown jewels? He says, all my brushes and fur tins of paint. <laughs> <laughs> she drags the bag along the floor. Do you see it happening on stage? Yeah? <laughs> drags the bag along the floor and disappears into the wings. The door bursts open and a tall, red-headed -head Scotsman stands in the doorway. He says, Rob, Roy, different <laughs> fucking <laughs> ear. Yeah. He raises his arms and he shouts, <coughs> The big man's back! Rob Roy's here and the drinks are on me! All the customers raise their tankers and cheer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob saunters to the bar. How's it going, Tom? Well, you see, oh, Rob, it's been one of those days <laughs> where I've been rushed off my fucking feet. <laughs> Rob Roy, have I missed something, Tom? Have you been reading the rat border again? <laughs> Aye, what else? Well, you missed a hero of ball. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Wallace led the Scottish Army against the English at Stirling Bass Bridge and pulverised the bastards. Ah, wait a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, Rob. <coughs> this is Wallace. Ah, wait a fuck. Aye, this is the man. Wooly, this is Rob Roy. It's Tully. Aye, well, this is Rob Roy. Nancy returns and goes behind the bar and she fills Tanker's ale, <coughs> which she supplies at the tables throughout the hill scene. Eh? Right. And Tully says, Rob Roy. Aye. Rob Roy McGregor, the thieving bastard. The very man. You're the man who steals coos. Ah, mere coos than than a horse can shake. The drinks are on me. Yay! <laughs> and you came what happens that you. I didn't need to tell you that name, man. I know. <laughs> and Tom says, well, to the audience, now there's a novel thing, a horse that shakes coos. <laughs> oh my God, and Rob, <laughs> Rob Roy says, tell me about the battle then. Tom, it took place at Stirling Briggs. Yeah, who he says, that's a who or a brig. And Tully says, is it me the lick of pain? <laughs> I wonder, is it me the oh lick of pain? <laughs> He's looking for Again, a job. Okay, <laughs> we totally get it. <laughs> right, sorry, sorry. So I apologise for that. Oh, wait till I get laughing. Oh, God. There's no ass to get started laughing. Oh, what? <laughs> There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. No, not a bit. All the greats do have something wrong with them. Aye. Aye, you said I'm going to be fair thinking for you, don't you? I can't let you divorce one of them. Aye, correct. No, I never, never ever did divorce her, by the way. Oh, did you know? No. Right. <coughs> That's a hero of big brick and Tully says, is it me not like a paint? <laughs> Tom says, it's been painted in red today. Edward Longshanks. You can't hear Edward Longshanks says, right up. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I'm assuming I'm the only county in Kane's history, right? Well, you're right. the only person that's seen Braveheart. Right, I'm the only person that's seen Braveheart. Right, okay, okay, point taken. Uh, it's been painted red to the Edward Longshanks has fucked off him with his tail between his legs. And Rob Roy says, I'll wait a fuck. <laughs> <coughs> Tom, see, you, you've missed it all. You're too busy chasing coups. And Tully goes, I've slept with a few coups. And Rob Roy, he says, Rob Roy says, no, when I've stampeded the bastard, you've no. <laughs> Tom, forget about the coups. This was a massive day at Stirling Bridge. This was Wally Wallace's day, slaps Tully on the back. This was your day. You showed the bastards. I should name the fuck all. I've been painting a house around the corner. Mine's just seen it as a like a like uh, cartoon. It's a plate. Oh, well, well. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I've, I've got that in cartoon. As <laughs> a book. What a story. Right, he says. I should need the fuck all. I've been painting a house around the corner and Tom says to, to all the customers, Wallace is just stiff, stiffing somebody around the corner and the door raised up. <laughs> and Nancy enters the room at the same time. She goes, who's got a stiff one? <laughs> And all the customers really <laughs> noise is, we have. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I can't believe this. Well, it's just stiff and run. And Tully says, I paint it a living room. And Tom goes to everybody, the living room is covered in blood. <laughs> Tully bangs his tanker down the bar and turns to fave everybody and shouts, There's nobody listening around here. My name's Tully. Tully Wilson. I'm a painter and decorator. Nancy moves close to Tully. You can strip in my bedroom if you like. <laughs> and he says, Stripping wallpaper's extra. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fuck. Shall I continue, eh? Right? Yes. Right. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Is that convincing? <laughs> yes! <laughs> we should make this like a play. We should cut the group together and make a play of this. <coughs> oh, and Tully just says, what the hell with this? And turns his back and drinks at the bar. Rob Roy says, well, this is getting too much for me. I've got coos to sell. And Tom says, put me down for a pig or two when you're on your travels, Rob. I'll add them to my next pinch, Tom. He pats Tully in the shoulder and says, well done, Wally. <laughs> Tully slumps down at the barn and groans. Rob Roy exits and another character enters. And it's McGonagall, the poet. The fish poet. <laughs> the fish poet. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't. Could the the infamous fish poet. In, <laughs> in real life. Imagine in being real infamous life. for being fish. <laughs> <laughs> Tully <laughs> 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 slumps his head down at the barn and grows. Roy, Rob Roy exits and another character enters. Throws his arms in the air and introduces himself. May I say hello? <clears throat> it is I, your great poet, McGonagall. <laughs> And crowds, the crowds are shouting, fuck off, your poems are pitch. <laughs> 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 
McGonagall says, I'm here to give you my new poem about the great train disaster at the Tay Bridge, <laughs> which is hundreds of years later. Eh? And the cr a crowd member shouts out, it wouldn't be a disaster if you jumped off the bus then. <laughs> All the cus customers <laughs> raise their... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yep. McGonagall goes, a tankard of your finest, one lord. Tom fills a tankard and he says, so you're the poet McGonagall. McGonagall, the great McGonagall. He turns to everybody and goes, and if you are paying patriots will allow me, I'll demonstrate my po poetic skills. And all the customers raise their tankers and shout, I'll wait a fuck. <laughs> he says, oh, perhaps in another time. <laughs> Tom says, it sounds like a plan. So what's brought you here to Stirling? Are you here to write about the exploits of Willie Wallace? at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. Willie Wallace, never heard of him. Tully, thank Christ for that. <laughs> no, I think I'll leave Stirling Bridge and Willie to Wallace to a lesser poet than myself. <laughs> but I bet I could write about you, Tom. Tom, me. I'm just a poor tavern, though. I can't what's coming next. Well, Who wants to hear about a poem about me? <laughs> McGonagall goes, I could probably make you famous. My poem about you would be recited the world over. What's your surname, Tom? He says, Tom. Tom is Sharner. <laughs> McGonagall goes, Oh, Shanta. Ah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't make a penny using that surname. <laughs> I can't make the right there. Wow. Oh. Tom, speaking of pennies, you owe me a penny for the ale. Aye, ah, well, a penny, there lies the rob. <laughs> a penny's a thing that I didn't have. Perhaps a wee ale on the hoose. Tom grabs the, grabs the tank and pulls it away. Hey, you get nothing for nothing in this house. Nancy, we've <laughs> got a moocher. Nancy, we we'll, we can't have moochers in here. She opens the door, door and hurls them outside. And then, <laughs> and then shouts <laughs> after him and says, and by the way, your poems are pish. <laughs> <laughs> All the customers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, you and then he speaks. Oh, 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 oh. He, he speaks to the audience. And he, Tom Yay. speaks to the audience, uh, and he says, oh, "I wouldn't oh, normally oh. throw a man out when he's doing in his luck. One free drink is hardly the end of the world, but Nancy's right." His poems are pish. <laughs> Nancy walks back in the bar and she just sort of that I'm getting near the end where I finished, I think. Uh, Nancy walks back in the bar and she arrives alongside Tully. The door is thrown open and in walks King Edward Longshanks in all his splendour. Mm -hmm. And he says, it is I, King Edward. Your king. All the customers raise their tankers and shout, <laughs> I'll <laughs> wait a <laughs> fuck. We've <laughs> <laughs> got an ash to close by. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't have got one here. <laughs> wow, what a fucking. <clears throat> what a. Right, no. Can you edit the fucking. That was it, that was good. No, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> uh, I'm near the end, bro. Huh? <laughs> Edwards, uh, Longshanks. Long right. 
a pint of your finest landlord, landlord, and a drink for all your clientele. All the customers raise the chance. Hey. Shove it up your arse. <laughs> Damn, says, speaking of asses, <laughs> I thought yours had been severely kicked today. <laughs> uh, nothing more than a small setback. <laughs> <laughs> well, this pain will just set you back a fiver, he says. <laughs> Edward, extortion, highway robbery. You're a tourist. We always rob tourists. <laughs> Edwin, you're going too far. I'm going too far. You went too far. In fact, Stirling Bridge was too fucking far for you. <laughs> Edward, every dog has its day. <laughs> well, tell that to the man standing next to you. That's Wally Wallace. <laughs> and Tully goes, Tully, Tully Wallace. <laughs> Edward says, so you're Wallace. So you're Wallace. The man that caused all that mayhem. I didn't cause any mayhem. I'm a painter and fucking beggar here. <laughs> Edward says, Jesus, just what I need. I've got a big castle. Big badly needing a facelift. How many rooms is done? <laughs> Twenty. Three kitchens a library, mate. <laughs> Name your price, nothing is too much for the long shanks. And Tom says, well, apparently Wally Wallace was. And Edward says, fuck off. And he turns to all the bar and he goes, drinks are on me. And the customers all raise their drink. Yeah, goes, no. Fuck off. <laughs> and that's where I finished. Oh, what do you think of that?